Hi, welcome to your strategy timeline. This has been set up as an independent research exercise so that any time before the course or after the course, you can make your way through the history of strategy. First thing to do is to click a button on the bottom which says 3D. It'll make the strategy timeline a little bit more interesting and you should be able to scroll through the timeline clicking on various different important papers or events which have shaped how, the develop, uh, how strategy has developed. When you click on each of them you should find a series of pictures that you could look at, a little bit of text to read and if you click on some of the links there are videos to uh, watch and more detailed papers um, that you might want to take some time to look at. On the traditional MBA, the history of strategy is quite important. Essentially, strategy has always been a contested form. There are different ways in which people believe organisations should prepare themselves for the, uh, for the market. Different ways in which people think success is brought about. And as a result, there are some quite well-defined schools or canons within the strat uh, strategy thought. When I learned my, uh, did my MBA, for example, most of the teaching I got was a very kind of positioning school argument from Michael Porter. And a lot of contemporary strategy is basically stuck in the 1960s and 1970s where that uh, rose. It's where people have essentially received their undergraduate training and then gone on to, uh, to continue. Now, but we want to try on this MBA to kind of update things a little bit. So part of the purpose of this exercise is to give you an idea about how strategy has been contested um, and then hopefully give you an opportunity to kind of critically assess it.